Life in prison. That's the sentence handed down to Ayub El Kassani. The French court ruled that El Kassani would have carried out a particularly deadly and indiscriminate attack were it not for a combination of improbable circumstances, including faulty ammunition and the courage of the train passengers. Speaking at the courthouse, the attorney for the American soldiers who overpowered the gunmen echoed the court's findings. Mes, mes clients, ils ont, ils, ils ont par leur action euh, rendu ce procès possible puisque euh, s'ils n'étaient pas intervenus, euh, y, 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 tout le monde serait mort. En tout cas, beaucoup, et les, les, eux seraient morts et les gens autour d'eux, les premiers au contact d'El Kazani seraient, seraient très vraisemblablement morts. Back on August 21, 2015, El Kazani boarded a Paris-bound Talis train. He was heavily armed with an AK-47 assault rifle and 300 rounds of ammunition as well as a handgun and a box cutter. He shot and injured one passenger before being overpowered by three Americans, two of them off-duty soldiers. Once arrested, officials retraced El Kassani's steps. The Moroccan-born gunman was living in Molenbeek, Belgium, home to several other men convicted of terrorist activities. They discovered he had been in Syria, where he received training to carry out attacks in Europe. Ayoub al Kazani avait visionné, alors qu'il se trouvait déjà à bord du train Thalys, un fichier audio YouTube dans lequel un individu exhortait ses fidèles au combat et à la prise des armes au nom du prophète. Police also identified Abdel Hamid Abaoud as an accomplice. He's believed to be the mastermind of the November 13th terrorist attacks in Paris. He was killed in a shootout with French police three months after the thwarted Thalys attack. Three other accomplices have also received jail sentences ranging from 7 to 27 years in prison.